Hey there guys, this week we're gonna be talking about my Pebble smartwatch and why I still wear it even though they've been discontinued for quite a while now and there are a lot more smartwatches out on the market that might be better than it, but that's what I wanna talk about in today's video. A lot of this video is going to recap what I talked about in my Pebble review video. You can check that out right up there in the top right hand corner of the screen and I kind of went through the Pebble Time Round and the Pebble Steel and talked about both of those and why I still have them. I still have both of them. I still use both of them. I wear the Time Round most of the time. The steel I use whenever I want to have a stainless steel watch that looks a little bit nicer. But let's start off by talking about why I use it. So one of the main reasons why I use it is it doesn't have a touchscreen. I find that touchscreens on smartwatches are actually kind of gimmicky and they don't really work as well as intended. I find that the kind of button interface on the Pebbles is a lot better than a touchscreen, and they designed a really great operating system that utilizes the buttons on the sides in an intuitive way that really kind of eliminates any need for a touchscreen unless you had some type of advanced features on the watch, but I don't think, really think those should be on a smartwatch. I think smartwatches should be pretty basic because it's just kind of annoying to use advanced things like sending text messages and things on your watch. It's better just to like have a microphone there just to do voice to text if you want to or really just to view the messages because that's all they're really intended for is for receiving notifications. On the topic of receiving notifications, the Pebble makes it really easy to read those, especially in sunlight because it does use an e-paper display. The Time series have a color e-paper display so that you actually have color there, whereas the older series, they are a black and white e-paper display, which some would argue is better because it's just higher contrast and the colors kind of detract from that, but I like having the colors there just because it allows more personalization and just allows more depth in the notifications because different colors can mean different things and it's just a lot easier to kind of read the communications that are coming through to you and understand them when you have some color coding there. The Pebble design is a simple but effective design and I still really enjoy it and it's still my favorite smartwatch design ever even though they don't make them anymore. I really wish they would and I really wish Fitbit, since they bought them, would start making Pebble-esque watches that are actually thin and not giant behemoths like what Fitbit makes. Like, I would like to see them actually use the technology they bought instead of just sticking with what they've got and basically taking down my favorite smartwatch manufacturer. The watch is super thin. It's the thinnest smartwatch that I've found yet. There might be a new one out there that's thinner, but nobody's really going for a thin smartwatch design. All of them are pretty thick, a lot thicker than normal watches, whereas the Pebble is significantly thinner than most normal watches because when you just have electronics, it doesn't have to be very thick. The battery time on it, of course, is kind of um, low since it is a thin watch. The steel actually lasts about a week, which is pretty amazing, but that isn't a thin watch. The time around lasts about three days, and my battery has degraded a little bit on it after using it for several years, um, since release, actually. But my battery has degraded to where under heavy use, running lots of apps, getting lots of notifications and doing things like that. I only get about a day out of it, whereas before I could get usually like a day and a half, two days if I wasn't like tracking steps or using the health stuff on it. But overall, it lasts me through an entire day, which is good enough, and I do use it very heavily with the step tracking and all of the other features like that. If you turn those off, you can easily get three days out of it, which is what is advertised. But whenever they take those measurements, they never have all the little features turned on because they want to get the best reading they can. The watch also charges very fast since it does have a small battery because it's very thin. So I can actually get up to like a full charge in under 30 minutes. So having that low battery life of only really a day under my use case really doesn't matter that much to me because I can just plug it in while I'm sitting at work for a little bit and then it just charges and then I'm good for the rest of the day and I don't have to worry about it until the next day. So in conclusion, I'll keep using my Pebble, although I won't recommend it to people. New buyers should definitely stay away from them since they're discontinued, you won't have any customer support or anything. I don't know how long the Pebble app is going to be supported necessarily with all the watch faces and everything. Hopefully they keep that up and running, but since there's nobody really working at Pebble, it's kind of just left in the air whether that stuff will be supported in the future. So new buyers definitely stay away but I'm still gonna keep using mine, and maybe if you're willing to take the risk, go ahead and buy one used, because you can probably get them for fairly cheap used, and yeah, I would definitely recommend the watch, and I'm definitely gonna keep using mine until it dies. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you guys have any comments about smartwatches, leave that down in the comment section below. Tell me which one you use, why you use it, and if you like the content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.